Hello and welcome to the Mineconomy installation tutorial. Today I'll show you how to install and set up the Mineconomy bucket plugin. Where you have to go is dev.bucket.org forward slash server mods forward slash Mineconomy. We'll let that load and then click the link that says Mineconomy version 1.3 and then click download. Once it's downloaded, it's very simple. All you have to do is drag it to your plugins folder on the server and then launch it. As you can see, Mineconomy generates all the files for you. So we're going to go ahead and stop the server. Then we're going to go into our Mineconomy folder and there's going to be all these YML files. Now what you have to do is you don't have to edit many of these. But the ones that we're going to be focusing on are the config and the currencies.yml files. So first let's go to currencies. In currencies you want to create a default currency. Let's go ahead and create one named dollars. We're going to give it a value and we're going to say that its base value is 1.0 and then we're going to say that it will be the default, so default's true. So that was easy enough, and you can name this whatever you want, yen, euro, whatever. Now we can get onto the config.yml. There's this new field here called economy compatibility mode, and that's only if you've switched to uh, switch from my economy. So I'll link that tutorial in the description. Here we have the balance, the starting balance. This is what all accounts will start out with. The maximum debt. That's how far accounts can go into debt. Display GUI, which is a very useful feature. We'll turn that on for today. And this will display a server-side GUI. Log priority, we don't have to deal with yet. Uh, interest and tax, we've gone over before. This is the amount of interest. This is the interval in seconds. And it's mode. You can read more about those in the readme.txt file. So we're going to go ahead and save this and then we're going to launch the server again. So here you can see it's creating the GUI and this is the useful Mineconomy GUI. So what you can do is you can manage the accounts, you can manage the currencies, even though it's not quite fully implemented yet. The bank GUI is not implemented yet. You can edit the sitting, settings and you can look at the log file. Now for settings, this log priority is what is the lowest priority of log that you want to see. So here you have Mineconomy info. There's also different ones like Mineconomy dev, Mineconomy important, Mineconomy very important. So you might not want to change that. This is the language file that it will use. The default is EN for English. You can just edit the different settings here. Uh, the bank's GUI will be implemented uh, implemented later, it will be kind of like the accounts GUI. So let's get on to the accounts GUI. You can create a new account here, let's call it test account. We can create that. Oh, and it will uh, reload the frame for us so that we can look at test account. Right now its balance is zero dollars. So let's go ahead and give them a few thousand dollars. We can also take a thousand dollars if we don't like it. We can Let's go ahead and set it to 500. I think he's too rich. We can empty it, which will set it to zero, or we could delete this account, and we're not going to finish deleting the account. So let's go ahead and log in with Minecraft. And we'll go ahead to the address of our server. Mine's running on local. And it will create our account. Spider. And then we can also see MC get test account, and the GUI has uh, controlled that for us. It's balance is zero dollars, like it said. And now, if we refresh my economy on here, oh, uh, then we can just play around with the normal settings, and I'll get to the 
actual in-game commands in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on Bucket Dev or this video, and I will be happy to get to them as soon as possible.